Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands and in today's video I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week 11 of Supreme's spring summer 2022 collection. Well uh, even though it doesn't look very spring summery outside in the land down under <laughs> it's literally bucketing down that doesn't stop me. We're still going to be covering the weekly drop of Supreme's Spring Summer 2022 collection. And this week we are up to week 11. Now, uh, if you just watched the sneaker talk video that I just uploaded and just did, uh, we are getting a collaboration this week. We are getting a Nike collaboration on some Zoom Air Flight 95s. I have to keep reminding myself that I keep forgetting the name of them, but uh, yeah. Two of the colors I didn't mind, one of them was a little bit too flashy for me and in all honesty it didn't blow me away so I'm kind of keen to see what seasonal items we are going to be getting this week. Hopefully something that will pique my interest a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be covering all the release details for week 11, the seasonal pieces, the collaborative pieces and of course my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces and the week as a whole. Now how we're going to cover all those details is of course by using a Supreme Community page, like always. Uh, let's head on over to that page now and we'll start covering the release details for week 11. So here we are at the Supreme Community page to cover the week 11 drop list. Uh, we'll quickly cover the release details, but if you guys want to check out this page uh, to vote on the items yourselves, it'll be linked down in that description section below. But the items releasing in week 11 will be dropping on the 5th of May 2022, obviously. <laughs> they will have an online release 11am Eastern Standard Time in the US, 4pm British Standard Time for the UK, and 5pm Central European Standard Time for the EU. Now. Supreme Community unfortunately always forgets about the lovely people in Japan. They get it two days later. Japan gets it 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time on the Saturday. Uh, if you have any further questions about where it's dropping, etc., etc., drop them in that comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But now we've covered all the release details for week 11, let's get into the individual pieces. And you've got me a little bit worried when we're starting off with the most upvoted items to be a set of pillows, some gloves, and a track jacket. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, man, maybe I'm not going to like anything this week. But I don't always agree with the Supreme community, so maybe there'll be something for me. We've got quite a few sections to cover this week. Let's just dive straight into it. Let's start covering the collared shirts releasing in week 11. Okay, maybe I should have said collared shirt. <laughs> to kick it off with, we have the fuck everything short sleeve work shirt. Uh, it's not, it's, yeah, you know, I, I feel exactly how the Supreme community feels. It's not super upvoted or super downvoted. It's kind of just in the middle, like it's okay, but it's not really, you know, blowing me away. I'm going to agree with the downvotes though. I'm going to put it as a downvote. I don't think I could really get around something like this. Uh, it is the only collared shirt we're getting this week, so we've got to move into the next section, which is the shoes. Damn, who saw these coming? <laughs> well, obviously we did because we just covered the sneaker talk, uh, these in the sneaker talk video. So uh, it is quite upvoted compared to the downvotes. We got three colorways of it. We got the black, brown, and blue. They are 178 US dollars. 178 bucks. Yeah, geez, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, geez. And like, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to be able to buy them because my huge ass feet. I've got a size US 16 slash 17. So, or, or you know, if I had to translate that, that's a European like 51 and a half or a 52 and a half or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, okay, I don't think they're that bad, especially the black ones and the brown ones. The blue ones you can miss me with. I'll, I'll give it like a, I don't know, like a pity thumbs up. <laughs> it's okay, but it's not amazing. Uh, yeah, that's really how I feel about this, that collab. That's summarizing it. It's okay. Um, yeah, well, that is, the, of course, the only pair of shoes that we're getting in week 11. So 
let's dive into the accessories and see what accessories we're getting this week. How boring is that? The top two most voted items for this week are all the accessories. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was kind of expecting a little bit more, you know, but no, but they got two of them. We've got the Supreme Franklin CFX Pro Batting Gloves. I mean, I, I don't need batting gloves. Um, do, if I was to buy batting gloves, would I need Supreme ones? Probably not. I don't have a Supreme baseball bat. I can't really do all the, uh, you know, matchy-matchy. But uh, yeah, you guys seem to be super fond of it. I don't know what you're going to be wearing the gloves for. Maybe in just some casual outfits or something like that. I'm going to leave it as a down vote. I'm not a glove wearer because, I mean, I wear rings all the time and it's just a little bit more difficult if you have to buy gloves with rings. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a down vote for me on that one. We've got the Supreme Jewels Pansu Pillows set of three for 400 US dollars. Uh, yeah. Look, I don't mind the pillows. It would look nice on like a couch. It'd be a bit of a laugh. You'd be like, oh, look, it's the Supreme Pillows. But I could spend 400 bucks on a lot of other things. And I don't really need Supreme Pillows for my couch at the moment. So, uh, it's going to be a... Uh, I don't want to give him a down vote because it's okay. I don't, I don't mind this as a fun, like, goofy accessory. But, um, yeah. All right, I'll give it a thumbs up because, you know, I could actually use the pillows as pillows. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm, if you give me 400 bucks and you said, Daniel, you're going to buy the Supreme pillows now? I'd be like, nah, I can think of other things. <laughs> Some nice capital piece or something like that, you know? Like, yeah, I'm all right. But that is all the accessories this week. So let's press on and have a look at these shorts. And we have two releasing this week. We have the Gradient Jacquard Denim Shorts. And this pattern, denim shorts, jorts. Mm. I'm going to agree with the Supreme community on this one. That's, that's, that's a down vote for me. <laughs> uh, next we move into the Stretch Sweat Shorts, where it have, has the Supreme logo stretching around your butt and coming around back the other side. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit odd. That's a very weird design there, and the colors aren't, you know, blowing me away. This is quite upvoted, but I'm going to agree with the downvoters. I'm not feeling any of these shorts this week. But that is all the shorts releasing. Let's dive into one of my favorite sections now, which is the jacket. And we have two releasing this week. Um, normally this is my favorite section, but this week it isn't hitting me too much. <laughs> I will start it off with the Gradient Jacquard Denim Work Jacket. I feel kind of the same way about this, or about the, uh, here we go again, Zoom Air Flight 95s. Um, it's okay, not blowing me away. Uh, I don't mind the colors that they've chosen for the denim. I don't mind the colors of the all over print uh, font that they have used. But I mean, for 250 bucks? Look, if it was like half that price, second hand, yeah, maybe I'd consider picking up the blue one. Maybe even go as far as this like creamy one at the front. But for that retail, there have been better Supreme denim jackets that have released for around about that same price tag. And I'd much rather go hunting for them or hunting for other jackets at around that price point. So, uh, so you see what I mean? I wish there was an eh button in the middle. Like, it's okay. <laughs> Giving it a yes or a no is, is a lot more difficult. I'll give it a, yeah, it's all right. It's, it's okay. I'm leaning more towards it's a, yeah, it's all right, than it is a, no, I'm not feeling it. Um, next, we move into the Supreme Umbro track jacket. Um, I, I just don't wear track jackets or jackets like this. They're not my thing. Uh, I never got around jackets like that. I just don't like that. Like, well, it's not even that I don't like the material. I just don't like the shape and everything like that. Uh, so yeah, I literally have like one of them in my wardrobe if I ever need to like, you know, go out on a rainy day But you'd rarely even see me do that in a rainy day. So yeah, I I'm just gonna give it a down vote I don't think it's a bad piece. It's just not something that I would wear so down vote for me on that one That's the only jackets we're getting this week. So we've only got a couple more sections left to cover We got the hats top slash sweaters pants and sweatshirts Let's dive into the hats and see what hats we're getting this week we are getting three, and I gotta say, most of them are, well, yeah, most of them are pretty average. <laughs> We've got the Touring Visor six panel with this Arcing Supreme silver font on the, uh, I guess, the bill of the hat. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely agreeing with the Supreme community on that. That's a down vote. We've got the Gradient Jacquard Denim Mesh Back 
five panel. Ugh, that looks, I mean, I don't know if anyone else is feeling the same way, but that looks pretty gross. Uh, and then we move it into the perforated camp caps. I'm trying to fault them. They come in really nice colors. I'm not a huge fan of like the perforated uh, mesh material as the like primary part, but as I said, I'm trying to fault it. I'm trying to be like, no, this is bad, but uh, there's not much I can really point out that's bad about it. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up just cause yeah, it's, it's a very safe hat, but give me like any other camp cap with a different material and I'd be way more interested in that one in particular. Uh, yeah, but that is all the hats releasing this week, so let's dive into the tops slash sweaters. Ooh, we got, we got some nasty ones to start off with. We've got the Word Bubble Jacquard Short Sleeve Top. Nah, that looks cheesy and gross. We've got the Two Tone Sweater, Supreme New York written on the chest. Yeah, mm, not that good. Then we've got the Small Box Logo Tee. Simple Supreme Tee with a small box logo on it. You can never go wrong with it. Comes out basically every season. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. You just can't go wrong with them. Uh, interesting little all over print one that we're getting this season here. But yeah, that is all the tops slash sweaters. So let's move into our second final section, which is the pants. And we've got two. We've got the double knee denim utility pants coming in just some pretty basic washed out colors. And then this crazy camo one in the end. Um, I don't wear double knees. I don't have any double knees. Would I wear them? I mean, I'm not against them. So yeah, I would consider wearing them. I don't mind the cream ones in the middle. The washed out black and white. I'm uh, sorry, black and blue. I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of like washed out colors on denim. It, it never hit for me. I'd rather just like wear them for many years and wash them out myself, you know? I kind of like that look of doing it yourself. But the white, the white ones or cream ones are speaking to me a little bit. Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. It's a nice little Supreme double knee piece. Nothing wrong with that. We've got the Supreme Umbro track pants. I feel the same way about the track jacket with these track pants. I just don't wear this type of track pants. Uh, I don't wear this type of silhouette for pants in general. So just because of that, it's going to be a downvote. It's not a horrible piece. I'm sure the matching set with the track pants and the track jacket would look really nice. But yeah, it's just not my thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is all the pants releasing in this week. Let's move into our final section, one of my favorite sections as well, which is the sweatshirts. Okay, I actually gotta say, I wasn't a fan of the stretch logo shorts, but the stretch logo crew neck is hitting a lot more. So there is a little bit more praise with this crew neck. I just kind of wish the color combinations were a little bit different, just a little bit different. I don't know, I'm, I'm not really feeling this like brown tipped, like sleeves, the gray tipped sleeves. The black one I don't mind because it's super safe, but I feel like they could have hit a lot better doing different color, uh, you know, sleeve tips, I guess. It, like even just keeping the same color, grabbing the same color of the chest and putting it on the sleeves, that would have looked way better. I don't know why they chose these whack ass colors for the sleeves there. Such an odd choice. Well, why Supreme? Why make it harder for your clothing to pop? Yeah. Uh... I'll give it a thumbs up for the black one, you know, that's okay. But they could have done way better with those first two colors there. Uh, we've got the Instant High Patches Hooded Sweatshirt. You guys are really, really feeling this one. Uh, you know, you can see with the upvote ratio there. I don't mind this. It's not my favorite Supreme hoodie that I've seen over the past couple weeks, uh, even seasons. Maybe I would wear it in like the gray or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not hitting that much, but I, I, like I'll give it like a an, an okay thumbs up. But yeah, it isn't uh, blowing me away with that one, which is usually which is you know a bit of a shame. But yeah, I didn't mind the black stretch crew neck there. Anyway, uh, that is everything releasing in week eleven, guys. We've covered it all. Yeah, there's not anything that I uh, want. There's nothing that I need that I'm going to be scrambling for. Um, like if the, if the stretch crew neck came up on Grailed for like, like a little bit less than the retail, I'd be like, oh yeah, cool. If the denim jacket was like half off on Grailed, I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, why not? But yeah, well, I mean, the small box logo tee is like a classic. It's just easy to wear. But yeah, like this week's, yeah, a bit of a sleeper week for me. Nothing going on. Nothing from the Zoom, uh, the Nike collaboration with the Zoom Air Flight 95s. Yeah, bit of a snooze. Um, 
But yeah, maybe you guys feel differently. Maybe you think this week's popping. You're like, damn, they got gloves and pillows. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe that's how you feel. But yeah, it's not doing much for me. I'd love to hear how you feel about this week in general. Is it a good week or is it a bad week? Let me know how you feel about week 11 down in that comment section below. Well, that's everything to be said about week five of Supreme's Spring Summer 2022 collection. Uh, we covered the release details, the seasonal pieces, the collaborative pieces, uh, my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces and the week as a whole. Uh, so yeah, that's really it. There's all to be said about it, guys. I would love to hear from you guys that are picking up something this week. What are you picking up? What size and color are you going for for the item that you want? Uh, let me know if you are picking up something from week 11 down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme weeks, seasons and collabs, you've got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below and a subscribe to the channel. Uh, that is the best one you can give me, a good old subscribe. Uh, we're trying to hit a new subscriber milestone this month of 3325. Uh, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of May. That's everything i got to say about week 11 though, guys. Uh, I wish you all luck if you are going for something this week. I hope you managed to pick it up in the size and color that you're after. But until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next Supreme video, I'll catch you later.